Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Aquarius. This is going to be your bonus love reading down below. I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down there, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least two, three days to get them done after transaction, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, keep in mind these energies are interchangeable, so if this isn't you, this could be your partner or whoever. Um, and this is who is walking towards you, Aquarius. So you definitely could be dealing with another Aquarius. Um, definitely could be dealing with, um, another air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Because we have the king and queen of air here. He's walking towards her. Could also be dealing with, um, a Sagittarius with the nine of wands. So could be dealing with a Sagittarius could also be dealing with um a fire sign so leo uh sag aries could be dealing with a earth sign taurus capricorn virgo or a water sign definitely a water sign too or have strong water placements and strong air placements um and that's scorpio pisces cancer also uh you guys might want to check out the Sagittarius and Libra video because um, they had like the same reading for, for each other and then I'm looking at this right and these two cards um, were in both of those readings too and like I said we have Sag here um, and another air sign so it definitely could be Libra or Sag in this person's chart or your chart so you might want to check that out okay guys so basically I have here I basically have here um, a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, positive resolution of a conflict. So this is somebody um, that you already know um, and you guys are getting closer here, okay? So somebody um, you're getting closer with, um, again, confirmation, a relationship begins a new phase. So yeah, you guys are definitely getting closer. Um, heightened psychic abilities is coming through for you. You're very intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly. That's how they see you. They also see you, it's like you kind of popped up out of the blue. And it was like a good time, actually, because um, it's like you popped up and amidst um, a bunch of darkness that they're going through. They're dealing with a lot. So it's like you're kind of lighting up their world right now. You're like lighting up the abyss for them, which I really like. And then I have here... Um, we have the chariot here. It's like this person is really being divinely guided towards you. Um, they just need to balance out their shadow side and their light side. But they're definitely being divinely guided towards you here. Okay. And, um... Yeah, it's because you're ready. You have the resources and ability to manifest them. Life is magical, so... Um, you have a lot of abundance around you. You're like a manifester. You manifest a lot of stuff. Um... And it's like, you want to grow with this person or this person, yeah, I'm feeling, it's, yeah, you guys want to grow together, you want to manifest something, either you or this person here. And um, I feel like you want to speak up to this person or maybe this person wants to speak up to you, but I have somebody pretending like there's no problem, pretending, it's almost like hiding their feelings, like, I think it might be both of you, but um, I have somebody here who's definitely hiding their feelings um, because they want to be with you. Either you or this person, somebody wants to be with the other person and somebody is like kind of like fronting like they don't. Like, um, yeah, they're, they're fronting like they don't. And um, I have here, you know, this makes you feel like um, you're missing an opportunity with this person, you know. Um, or this person may be feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you. Somebody um, is discontent and disappointed. Um, It's like, you know what it is? It's like somebody is disappointed because they want more with somebody, but it's like they don't know how to say it. That's what I'm hearing. And then I have here, yeah, so we have the king of air um, in the six of water. So um, somebody like wants to speak their mind with confidence, but it's like they don't know how. Um, yeah, they don't know how. It's like it makes them really like, you know what it is? It's like they don't want to get hurt. They don't want to get rejected is what I'm seeing. Yeah, they don't want to get rejected or hurt. Um, but it's like they want to speak their mind to you or you want to speak their mind to them. It's like somebody wants to tell this person is what I'm getting. Somebody wants to tell this person how they feel. Um, they, oh yeah, so like a tower moment had happened in this person's past. That's also why it's very hard for them 
very hard for them to speak out when it comes to the situation here. And when this came out, this was upside down. So, you know, it's not going to be a tower moment with this person because we have the five of earth on top of this. Um, if you look, you know, this must have been in the past. And this is when um, abundance first started growing here. This is like the first signs of life, the first signs of growth. And then I have here and look how much abundance is surrounding the tower. It's the same tower. Look how much abundance and growth has gone on. Um, there's wildlife, coins glowing animals um very very beautiful here okay so somebody kind of has this fear that um they're gonna be walking right back into a tower moment right but is um reversed so somebody feels like they're gonna be walking into a tower moment they feel like they're gonna be getting hurt again um but really there's st there's stability there's foundation here there's a lot of growth here taking place um so this is really more of a cerebral energy because I have here um, don't give up protect that which you have created have courage and believe in yourself have confidence okay have confidence in yourself and um, it's kind of funny because where you're stuck and stagnant we have the wheel here so this is a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward and fortunes on your side so something is going to give way something is gonna move something's gonna budge okay and it's gonna bring this king closer to this queen okay so the wheel is gonna turn it's gonna like you know what i mean it's gonna make him go all the way here once this wheel happens so the only thing standing in between you two right now is the wheel i definitely see both people being uh very kind of closed off to each other like yeah like i said before like you guys are probably both fronting like pretending like oh no everything's fine but i definitely see here um the universe is going to push this person towards you it's going to make them speak speak their mind okay so i definitely see that happening and you know what this queen of uh, uh this queen of air actually sees this happening because um that's the same horse she sees that it's coming she she knows this person's coming for her is what i'm seeing okay um i think that's really cool energy actually um, I think that's really cool energy. So basically, yeah, it's like, this was really more of, um, somebody's just scared to speak up. Somebody doesn't want to get rejected here. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to get rejected here. They feel like it's going to be the same as before, but like I said, this was reversed. Um, so we actually have foundation here. We have stability here. There's a lot of growth here. So, um, it's like this person walking towards it. Yeah, this person walking towards, um, because, you know, it's above, they're thinking it's going to be like this, not realizing it's like this. That's what they're actually walking towards. Um, so I really like how these cards really played with each other today. Um, the king and queen of air, the life experience, and the five of earth really liked how they, um, meshed with each other today. I hope that was good for you guys. Um, moral of the story is have confidence in yourself. Yeah, have confidence in yourself. Um, don't worry about being rejected. Don't worry about anything bad. Um, just worry about your current moment. Realize where you are. And, um, to be honest, rejection is probably the, the last of your worries. You know what I mean? Um, and if anything, it's actually kind of good for you guys. Because if you get rejected, you know, it's like, okay, let me move on, you know, on to the next. Let me um, take this as a good thing because at least I had enough courage in myself to speak my mind. And, you know, that's kind of a win for you guys even if um, you do get rejected. But I'm not really seeing that here. Like I said, um, a majority of you guys, this is going to work out. Um, you just got to have confidence. And like I said, this wheel is going to um, get you guys unstuck. So something is going to happen to get you guys to move forward um something's gonna happen to make you speak up to this person um this is also objective decision making too so um okay i hope that was good for you guys i am gonna catch you next week okay all right bye